that you and Will Smith almost got in a fist fight? Now I know everyone has done an ESPN Stephen A. Smith level recap of this Shook Prince story. <laughs> but I don't think y'all understand how gangster the Fresh Prince really is. You see, only heavy hitter goons like Bow Wow, Frank Ocean, and maybe that girl from that Chicken Noodle Soup song could ever attempt to shoot their shot with Jada Pimpin because they all know the possible repercussions of a Will Smith slap attack. The truth is, Will Smith has been dishing out slaps of furies for years. It wasn't a secret in Hollywood circles that Will Smith was a certified sucker for love. Take for example, Jada Pickett's critically acclaimed Oscar-nominated film, The Wu, which I'm sure we can all agree is on par with The Godfather, There Will Be Blood, and Raiders of the Lost Ark. Jada's co-star, Tommy Davidson, explained that Will Smith became aggressive toward him because of an issue concerning him and Jada Pickett. Deep in the Destro video vault, between the Asian fart porn and Fraggle Rock reruns, Lord Destro brings you Exhibit A. The real table talk took place on the Wendy Williams show, where Tommy admitted that Will Smith wanted all the smoke with him. I heard that you and Will Smith almost got in a fist fight. So I just tried to kiss her, and there was, I think maybe he thought I was trying to do something wrong. So we had a little conversation. He was like, let's go outside. Finally, I was like, okay, let's go outside. Then Jada was like, ain't nobody going outside. And I was, and I was glad she said that, because he's like, Jada there, broke it up. Whatever she did, she stopped it. Will pretty much attempted to emasculate him in front of the Wu movie crew. I'm sure you can see some similarities between Chris Rock and Tommy Davidson. Same build, same temperament. I mean, maybe it's a coincidence, but Will Smith only gets triggered when unthreatening funny guys are involved with his temptress. This is what happens when a woman becomes the alpha in a marriage, especially when there are monetary assets readily available to fund her delusional plan. These men take a back seat, and their women get up every day like the brain with a new plan to emasculate their husband. Another good example of this dynamic would be Gabrielle Union and Dwayne Wade, but we'll leave that topic for another video. Women like Jada learn the art of manipulation when they are young, Jada points out her mentor was Arthur Bell Hooks when she died. Bell was a super feminist, possibly communist, that taught women about the social dynamics in relationships, aka how to castrate your man. She was a famous author that died unmarried, childless, and alone. Cue the Kevin Samuels meme. <laughs> you motherfuckers ain't ready for this. Hook explains that she was voluntarily celibate for 17 years. Now, if you're watching this video, I'm pretty sure you know what voluntary celibacy means in womanese. So there's no need for me to elaborate. <laughs> and this is who Jada Pickett claims was her mentor. Let that marinate in your cerebral for a second, but I digress. Lord Destro is still curious to what sort of witchcraftery this temptress Jada used to turn Will Smith into the Manchurian candidate. I mean, the CIA had men jumping out of windows while high on LSD and still cannot enjoy the same level of mind control Jada has over Will. I ask you this, which black man has had access to as many black actresses as the Fresh Prince? So you doubt the gospel of Lord Destro. Okay, here's a few actresses Will worked with in the past. Nia Long, Tyra Banks, Naomi Campbell, that Hillary chick, Stacey Dash, Elise Neal, Layla Rockham, I mean Harlem Knights waiting to exhale Leela, not the one in this picture. Amy Hunter, Victoria Rockwell, Mari Moreau, Jasmine Guy, Vivica Fox, Kim Fields, Galen Gorg, Robin Givens, and Tisha Campbell. Okay, scratch that one. Let's add a little adobo with Eva Mendes, Paula Patton, and Selma Hayek. And let's be clear. He had access to all these women in their prime years. For the MILF lovers, don't forget to add Pam Greer to the list as well. From this glorious batch of women, Will chose Jada Pickett. And it's this point that brings the tear to the cheek of Lord Destro. Like a double D cup with a pancake butt. I mean, the last time I saw a man so entranced by a woman was probably that Mike Tyson Robin Givens interview with Wobble Walters. Please go and watch it, by the way. 
Robin Gibbons had Tyson in a hypnotic state, like a tonic and mobile great white shark. If I missed any other notables, write it in the comment section. The worst part of this story is that even though Will basically threw his career in the garbage to protect the honor of Jada Pickett, she would not take any blame or defend him on this incident. According to Jada, she's not a woman that needs protecting all 120 pounds of her. To all you white caping supermen out there, remember these words the next time you're about to risk your life and future for a modern woman you don't know. Because she will be quoting that same I don't need protection sentence at your funeral. And that's even if she attends. Behold the modern woman in all her splendor. Ignore Destro's gospel at your own peril. Now let us have a moment of libation for our fallen comrade that fell victim to the bald-headed succubus. And for Chris Rock, who was the victim of a reverse meta world piece. Meaning the crowd actually came on stage to deliver that smackdown. <laughs> By the way, someone please put Jazzy Jeff's picture on a milk carton. He's been conveniently silent in the midst of all this chaos. <laughs> wait, 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 hold up. You didn't smash the bell or press the light button? Blasphemy! And although you will never be worthy of a monarch such as myself, Lord Destro would suggest that you poor fools at least give Oligarchy a try. So <laughs> Lord Destro has spoken. Surprise, surprise, your name, gangster? Lord Destro. Who are you representing? <laughs> Cobra, la 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 la. Down. Blasphemy. Enough said. Hold on, hold on. Like or die. Subscribe quick. Go sign this. Like or die. We post it. You share it.